Alright guys, we're just going to start today just by flipping this little creature bait. Uh, I haven't been on this lake in about like 10, 12 years and I didn't really even bass fish last time I was here so we're pretty much figuring it out for the first time. We're going to flip this thing around and see what we come up with. There we go. Little, little tiny bass, first fish of the day. Just flipping this creature bait. This is not what we're after because that's like five inches long. Let's go make a move. There we go. Dude, that thing freaking crushed it. That's a stocky little fish. And that fish right there looks pre-spawn almost. I don't know what the water temperature is up here. It actually feels pretty warm and all the pads are up, so maybe not. Maybe she's just kind of gorging up on some shad or something, but that's a chunky like 14 inch fish. All right. Nice fish. First good one of the day. Oh my gosh, dude, next cast. There's stack back in this pocket or something. That was a bad cast. Doesn't matter. Dude, running right at me. Dude, that might be a pike. Yeah, it's a pike. <laughs> it's like, dude, that thing is going crazy. Look at this little dark colored pike. He's got like little black speckles all over his body too. I don't know what all that's about. That's crazy. Dude. That's one of the weirdest looking pike I've ever caught in my life. I'm not sure if it's like a different strain or something, like a pickerel or what, but that's just a little baby right there. Crazy little black splotches all over its body. Oh man, absolutely freaking crushed. And we missed her and she took the bait. That felt like another pike. That thing ran straight at me. Super fast. Dude, that fish just ran with it. It's fighting like it's like a two and a half pounder. Look at that. Crushed it. Crushed that baby brush hug. So far, we haven't stuck any giants, but these fish are put up a pretty good fight for their size so far. Man, all these other fish just kind of take the bait and just run. Which a lot of times when they're doing that too, that means that there's a lot of other fish in the area. They're trying to keep the bait away from them competition-wise. They're, they're like that, that bite I felt, and that's another little baby pike. Look at these little guys, little fish sticks. The only problem is they completely destroy your bait. Like one bite from that guy and this thing's just absolutely shredded. There we go. It's not a chunky one, dude. Another solid fish. Man, all these fish look crazy dark they look like a different species from what i'm used to catching up in uh, michigan or in illinois crazy just like black bass little gold on their bellies and stuff just absolutely different different kind of fishing or different kind of looking fish at least but so far i've caught every fish up shallow it seems like a lot of the fish are coming off the edge of the lily pads i did start by trying to flip way inside of them and stuff but it seems like they're really kind of Sticking to those edges, probably looking to ambush some prey and whatnot. There we go. 
birthday a little sculpture. All right, now this this bass right here looks pretty much like what I'm used to. That's a lot more, you know, normal looking. <laughs> you got its it's a nice black lateral line and everything. It doesn't look completely different like all these other bass I've caught so far, dude. And every single fish I've caught so far looks like that though. That's one thing I've noticed. They're all super fat, which I'm I'm really wondering if they're still spawning up here, which is it's definitely possible, I guess. Even though this, this water feels super warm. Either these fish have plenty to eat or they are spawning. Oh man, that was a decent one. Dude, that thing hit it just like a bluegill. I almost didn't even set the hook. That was off of that rock pile right there. Freaking sweet fish. I'm absolutely crushing this baby brush hog. So far, pretty much every fish has been the same size, except for that really dinky one that I caught. Running right at me. Dude, I'm kind of fishing offshore out here. I'm not really flipping it up in the pads. I'm fishing that outside weed break. And they seem to be liking it, because I've only been doing this for about three minutes and I've caught two fish. When that sun came out, I knew they were either gonna do one of two things. They were either gonna move deeper back into the pads or they're gonna move out on that break. And I fished the pads for like another, you know, 30 minutes, wasn't really getting any bites. Then I moved off that break, started catching some fish. Another like 13, 14 incher. Oh my gosh. Well, we're back up in the pads. <laughs> that little offshore bite didn't last long. I saw too many fish getting busted up here, so I had to move back up into the shallows. Literally like two minutes back up in the shallows, just crush that girl. Come here, girl. Dude, look at these golden bass. Absolutely crushing the brush hog. Another, dude, every single fish in here seems to be the same size though. I haven't caught any big ones yet. They're all solid fish, but just no giants or anything. Dude, these fish are crazy. They just take it and run. I missed that one the first time. She came right back for it too. And it's another 14 incher. Oh man, all day. Just been catching these things all day, pretty consistently too. I've been getting one every like 10 minutes or so, so ton of fun, ton of fun guys. There's a squeaker. See, when I say I want to catch like different sized bass, I kind of wanted it to go the other way. I didn't want to go, you know, back down to these little six, seven inches. I was hoping, you know, I'd bump it up to like a 16, 17 incher. But it is nice to switch it up every once in a while. Cause every, I've caught like 10 fish in a row that were all the exact same size before that one. Oh my gosh. Dude, see, I wonder if you guys could see this on camera, but I'm, I'm literally not feeling any of these bites. I think I felt like one or two bites all day, but that one, I lifted up my rod and I just saw my line shoot like 20 feet to the right. Freaking nuts. There you go, another like, that one's probably like 12 inches. Here's a little bit on the small side compared to some of the other ones, but that one hit it with freaking more force than any other fish that I've had so far. Straight railed it. All right guys, round two. We are fishing for northern pike now. Actually, right after I got done fishing for bass this morning, I took a little break, then I came back out here and I probably caught like 25 northern, but they were all pretty small and I wasn't filming. Uh, we're gonna try to catch a big one right now. There are some good ones in this lake. 
Man, there are mosquitoes everywhere though. That's going to be super annoying. There we go. First fish. Might be a bass. I think it's a bass. Oh no, it's a it's a little baby pike. So this one right here is a little bit smaller. Oh, yep, there he goes. This one right here is a little bit smaller than the average that I was catching earlier, but like I said, I caught like 25 pike earlier, and a lot of them were, you know, a little bit bigger than that, but not by too much. I mean, the biggest pike I caught was probably like 16 inches or so, give or take. Definitely nothing to write home about, but hopefully right now we stick a big one. Oh, it came off. That was a nice bass. That was a good... Oh, it came back. No, that, that's not the one that I had. I just had a bass on. What the heck? I lost like a two-pound bass, and this thing came out of nowhere and freaking crushed it right next to the boat. Another little snake, like 10, 12-inch pike. Dude, those things are so beyond aggressive. It's insane. Like, that thing watched a bass pop off, and then it just smoked it immediately right underneath the boat. Got him. It's a little bass. Up in the grass. There's a nice little 10 inch bass. Northern strain largemouth, man. Absolutely crushing the chartreuse spinnerbait in dead calm water. That makes sense. <laughs> And when I was fishing for pike earlier with this thing, it was it was pretty calm. I mean, there was a little bit more wind than now, obviously. And I was still catching bass on this thing, which just kind of blew my mind. Oh, there we go. Oh, I think that's a good bass. Dude, when I come out here to target pike, I'm catching more bass. What the heck? <laughs> Look at it, she's got it choked. Look at that fish right there. Another like 13 inch or stocky little dark northern strain largemouth. Absolutely crushed the spinnerbait. Awesome. Yeah. I don't think it's big. Oh, now it's pulling though. Oh, and she, oh no, she's still on there. I thought it got off. See, now that's like the average pike I was catching, I'd say. Probably, you know, about a 15-incher. But for a pike, that's not that good. For a pike, that's not that big, though. I mean, that's a that's a dinky little pike. I don't, this wouldn't even keep up in Michigan. they got to be 24 inches. I don't think that there is a uh, legal limit up here in Wisconsin, though. It's either, it's either no legal limit or they're 16 inches or something, but... I'm not fishing to keep them anyway. I'm just fishing for fun. That's got to be a fish. I'm catching one right there. Oh, yeah, look at that wake. Got her. Look at that wake behind it, dude. No way. I called that shot, too. This is a pike. Yep. Yeah, that's probably the biggest one yet. Oh, man. Absolutely crushed it. Yep, that's definitely the biggest one that I've caught so far. Let's see, I measure her just for fun because I got a bump right here. Oh, wow. See, I think I've been underestimating a lot of these pike, too. Because this one's not that much bigger than everything I've caught so far. And she is uh, over the 18-inch mark. She's about 19, 19 and a half inches. Nice little pike. Going back in the water. There we go. Oh, my gosh. Dude, they're feisty. These little pike are feisty. I really want to find a freaking gator though. At least like a upper 20s, if not a low 30s. Dude, look at how feisty they are. Then dude, pike always kind of give up. Right when you get them up by the shore, they kind of just give up. They start fighting really hard. And then they're just like, eh, you know, whatever. There's another little squeaker. Little baby pike. Crushed it, absolutely freaking annihilated it. It's a bass. <laughs> Seems like these, whoa, 
Oh, what? You just broke my spinnerbait, dude. You just flipped the blade off of it. How the heck? I mean, I gotta give this thing some credit though. I probably have caught like 100 fish on this thing today. And I don't know how many before this. And it was hanging in a tree for several days and Hunter rescued it and kind of fixed it up for me. So, I mean, that thing is kind of beat to crap, but this little tiny, you know, 10 inch bass somehow just broke it, just flipped the blade right off of it. Luckily, I did bring one extra spinnerbait with me. A little bit of a different color on it. Yeah, see, like, this split ring was just kind of busted to crap. Didn't even notice it going bad. Okay. Let's see how this one does. It's got a little smaller skirt. It's kind of a finesse version of that last one. I think the blades are the same size and I think the head weight's the same. This one might be a 3 8 though. I think the other one's a half ounce. Oh my gosh, one just crushed it though, first cast. Oh my gosh, his bass is putting him a fight. You're not even big, dude. Calm down. So you know, in this, this water is kind of that tannic color as I was explaining earlier too, but it's still pretty clear. So to be honest, this color spinner is probably a lot better for this water, especially for the bass, because the bass, they're gonna care more. The pike, you know, that gaudy chartreuse color, that kind of calls them out, but there's a nice like 14 incher. First cast with the, uh, this is a Max Tackle case shad. Probably my favorite color spinner bait of all time. Way back in there. I was like, there's gotta be one right in this opening somewhere. A little bass. Not a bad one, I mean. I'm telling you, all these fish, look at this, this is like a 12 inch fish actually, yeah. All these fish fight super hard for their size. I mean, anywhere else, this thing would have came right in, like a little bluegill or something. But she is bulldogging me. These fish are going nuts. Look at that pike. Dude, crushed it. Absolutely crushed it. That was next cast, I'm telling you. It's one after another. Okay, this is like the average size. Yeah, let's see what he is in the bump real quick. So, okay, like I said, I think I've been underestimating. He's like an 18 and a half incher. Just the, when they're like under 24 inches or so, they're so skinny, it makes them look like they're four inches shorter than they actually are. Cause that, that's an 18 and a half incher right there. But to me, that looks like a 12 incher almost, I mean. And that is the last cast, cause I probably got freaking malaria by now. Yep, we've got to go. Oh my gosh. These bugs. Dude, Wisconsin bugs are maybe the worst thing ever to happen on the planet. There was flies earlier that were biting the heck out of me and now there's just mosquitoes everywhere. Yeah, we have got to go. Look at that Wisconsin sunset, baby. Too bad it's cloudy outside. That would look crazy at night.